Aren't you a sight for sore eyes? Do come closer. Come in, come in. Make yourself feel nice and comfortable. I am here to help. And me, guys, you are here to discuss some things about the upcoming event. The grand party for the new year. Of course, I thought so. Everyone has been coming to me. I've been showing them a lot of designs. Some of them, well, they don't possess the eye of a designer, so they didn't appreciate everything. However, you seem to be a person that has quite a bit of knowledge and is open to ideas, which is great. I will be showing you a few ideas. However, your ideas are what are most important to me. So you don't mind. Would you kindly tell me a few ideas that you had in mind yourself? Right. Great start. I will simply draw some designs down as I go along with what you are telling me. Mm -hmm. Oh, do feel free here before I forget. I have some beverages here and some other things to take your mind off things, just to lighten the mood. If you'd like to take something, just go ahead. Right. So, colour preference. You're not really sure. Okay, well, we do have some colour swatches laying around. If you would like to, we can assess whether you are cool toned, warmer toned, maybe a bit of a neutral colour. I think you could get away with anything, I think. Hmm. We want to make sure that it is time appropriate, of course. I wouldn't want you to be wearing something that is, well, I suppose the garments from the 1700s were quite dashing, although maybe a little out of place for here. Like I mentioned, not everybody has the eye of a designer, I think. A lot of people would be maybe a little confused. Yes. Okay. So are we thinking a lot of frills or maybe something a little more simple? Simple, elegant. Obviously, this is a masked occasion, so I will be measuring your face as well. For the mask itself, did you have a certain animal in mind? I was thinking classic bunny rabbit. Mm hmm? Yes. Yes. Turns out Lewis Carroll has become quite a popular with the folk here. Well, you know, Alice in Wonderland. Yes. You know, I think a cat mask would be cute as well. Mm-hmm. I think that the bunny masks are very pretty, but they tend to have a lot of weight in the ears. So, it can be a little difficult to wear them throughout the whole night. Although, to be fair, usually after around 10 minutes, everybody takes their masks off. I know, it's a shame. So, if we did this, maybe we could do a jacket of some sort. It kind of blends into the colour here. Possibly... Since it is going to be the new year. 
Hmm. We could also do something iridescent or simply something that slightly catches the eye. Well, we could work with a fabric that does this effect, but we also do have a lot of different brooches that you could possibly wear. Mm -hmm. Different types of jewellery. here in this little box if you'd like to have a look. Sure, go ahead. But um, would you kindly place them back afterwards? Thank you. Things have mysteriously gone missing in my shop recently. It's quite frustrating really. never resort to hurting anyone. That would be totally against my morals. I could never. I just quietly curse inside my mind and hope that karma will take care of things, but so far, nothing. Maybe a hat that went with the mask that you are wearing. Kind of like poking behind here. A little, not a bucket hat per se, maybe a cylinder shaped hat to keep it very elegant. Mm -hmm. Yes. I think that might be quite nice. Get a darker shade, and if we are feeling very we could have a little bow on top. That would be very Lewis Carroll now, wouldn't it? Yes, I know. So, just there. Have you thought about what you're going to be doing with your hair? Mm -hmm. Yes, we can comb through and style it. That's no problem give you a little bit of a preview of what we could do that evening. Yes, that sounds very good. Now, I'd say again we do something very classic, we just kind of put it back, set it with some kind of spray, or maybe even a little bit of gel, some wax, depending on what you prefer, texture-wise, of course. Okay, yes. Mm-hmm. Some prefer the one thing, some prefer the other. That is completely fine. We can still achieve the same look, no problem. Absolutely no problem. So, let's see here. I will prepare a list of the questions. Yeah. So, could I have your full name here? We'll be looking at the colour swatches later. For now, I just want to take down the measurements of the face. Let's do upper body. Are you planning on wearing these trousers? I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think they would work just fine, actually. What about shoe wear? Oh, you have a separate appointment. Okay. That's just fine. Is that... Oh, yes. Okay. Yes, he does great work. Mm -hmm. Very, very fond of what he does. Fantastic shoemaker. Okay. Great. Absolutely wonderful. So I have everything written down. You just have to come a little bit closer to me. Let me actually get to the measuring. Oh. Um, is 
that what is this on, on your collar? It's, it's dried. It doesn't look like strawberry jam to me. Oh, okay. Well, that's that's just fine. Um, okay, yes, um, we'll get rid of that. I'll just use this little brush here. Don't mind me. Just hold on still for me. So how did this happen? Oh, I see, yes. Yes, they do get very protective of the little ones, don't they? Oh, well. What were you, uh, doing in that sector anyway? Oh, I see. Okay. Right. Mm hmm Yes, most of us usually stay here. I don't really venture out too much. Besides, I mean, the view is just breathtaking. Why would you want to go anywhere else? I know. It's beautiful. Okay. Just clean that up a little bit. Hmm. But oddly enough, it didn't even leave any proper staining on the fabric. It's fantastic. Let me just apply a little bit of this ointment here. It should pull the colour right out. Good. Perfect. Lovely. Okay. So, shall we do your face first? Okay, good. So, as I say, just if you have a oval face shape, half face shape, that is rectangular, round, diamond shape, okay. right, I'm just going to diagonally run this across your face. to the mouth. Move your head up a little bit so I can see what the uh, septum is looking fine. Okay. Can you breathe properly through your nose? Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm just making sure in case we need to add something or take something away that will um, you know, make sure that you can breathe just fine underneath that mask. So next I'd like to measure between your eyes, okay? So we're going to measure from this inner corner to this inner corner, just crossing the nose here. Here. Good. And then measuring from the outer corner to your temples. Mm -hmm. Now 
For the actual eye itself, I'm going to just measure the upper lid, the lower lid, when you keep your eyes open, and from the outer corner to the inner corner, and the same on the outside, and this, and the inside. Close your eyes for me. Okay, open again. Okay, and close again. And open. Good. Very good. Okay. Now I'm just going to measure from temple to temple. We already measured your face diagonally, but I want to just kind of move in here. And from the forehead to the chin, just keep your face relaxed. Good. I'm also going to measure from your jaw, basically where the ear ends, okay, right here. I'm going to measure down to your chin and up to the other side. from underneath the lower lid down to the jaw. Okay, other side. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay. I'm also going to measure around your neck. Okay. Just keep still. Breathe in for me. Just deep breath. In. And out. Perfect. Yes, just continue to breathe normally. That's just fine. I'm just trying to see if there is going to be enough room for everything that I put together. Since sometimes when you breathe, obviously it's going to expand quite a bit and we don't want you feeling too tired which leads me to my next um, step here. I'm going to measure the upper body, okay? So, just stand straight, okay, hold still. I'm going to measure from shoulder to shoulder. Okay. Just stay still here. Perfect. Okay. Excellent. I'm also going to measure from your shoulder down to your fingertips. Which of your fingers is the longest? Is it the middle finger? Okay. Just see here. Just extend the arm for me a little bit. Good. See if it's the same on both sides. Okay. Mm -hmm. Lovely, okay. I'm also going to be measuring your wrists. Okay. Oh, this thing is just incredibly stubborn sometimes. Okay, on the other side. Good. Now, when you are wearing your jacket, would you like the sleeve to be rather tight, buttoned up? Or would you like it to be very flowy and very open? What do you prefer? Yeah? Okay. I'll have that written down here. It should take me about a day or two to get things done. 
here? Would that be all right? Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can either pay now or when you pick it up. That's just fine. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay, so now I'm going to measure around the crease here. Around the arm, okay, and here again we want to keep some wiggle room because obviously you're going to be moving your arm, and every time there is movement, we also need some additional fabric. It's very important when sewing because that would just be a waste now, wouldn't it? If we took down all these measurements and then something were a little bit too tight when you move, that would just be unfortunate. You won't be able to see it on the outside. This is just for your personal comfort. Okay? So I'm just going to reach around you here. I'm going to measure the upper body in the chest area here. So again, deep breath in. we won't have to add the extra centimeters it's just that if it is something a little harder to to bend then we are going to have to see what we can do there okay yes some people have decided to wear cord which you know has no stretch whatsoever so they tend to complain that the design looks a little bit bulky but I tell them because you need that extra wiggle room, otherwise you won't be standing completely stiff at the party. That wouldn't be fun now, would it? Yes. I assume you're going to be dancing a lot. Okay, right. Let's just write this down. Now, let's just see what we can do here for a basic we yeah, add the details to it afterwards. adjust colour and um, piece together different types of fabrics. Just show you some of the fabrics here, the colour swatches, they're quite big. But we just okay. to see if we can use a warmer or a colder tone here. Let's just start with a red, okay? Turned red here. If you'd like to, you can look in the mirror on the side here to see what I'm saying to you, what I basically mean. Okay, 
so this would be a cold tone and this is a warm tone this is something that is somewhat in the middle okay and the reason why we do this is because sometimes the colors of the fabric tend to wash us out a little bit or they completely overpower us okay so while of course we want to use something that is to your liking we also want to make sure that you look your best okay everyone can have a favorite color of course but there are different hues of saturation and just their vibrancy that um, works more with someone than, than not I think this one looks best on you. What do you think? Hmm, I agree. It's very, very nice. And also red is also very elegant, of course. Mm -hmm. But still taking the theme of like, um, just the festive season overall, I feel like green and red is always very festive. Okay, now next, orange. You can see here with the warmer shade, it looks kind of like a burnt orange, okay? Whereas this one is a very vibrant orange. We don't actually have a neutral tone here because these ones I feel are quite beautiful, but the neutral tones that I saw, they looked a little bit too... Mm, too playful for me a bit. So I left that one out. Mm -hmm. You like that one best? Say you prefer the orange over the red, or? Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see here. Next, we have yellow. So, on this side, we have a mustard yellow. Then we have a buttercup yellow. And then on this side here, we have this beautiful daffodil yellow. Okay. So, all very vibrant, very fun. But they do have each... Um, individual undertones here. Can you tell which one works the best for you? Yes, very good. Very, very good. Of course, these are all individually beautiful, but I'd say this one looks very nice on you. We can mix and match different colours, of course, depending on if you would like a certain um, triadic colour placement, as in, oh, for example, a magenta and a blue and a yellow, for instance, okay? We don't have to do that, we can use a very simple look with just one colour, or we use two, or combine it with white or black, since those are very forgiving colours when it comes to combining. Yeah, okay. Next, green. There we go, okay. So on this side, a rather cool minty green and this one is like a forest emerald green I'd say whereas in the middle we have this very muted green tone okay now I feel like both the cool and warm tones suit you here mm -hmm. which one do you personally prefer yeah I often find that someone's personal favourite just lets them shine even more. It's like you somehow know that that's their favourite colour. It's quite interesting. Okay, so next, blue. I have three different hues of blue here. Okay, we have this ultramarine blue, which is this very dark, strong blue. Then we have periwinkle, that somewhat leans towards a cooler toned blue. And then out here we have this really, really vibrant warm blue. So, what do you say? Mm, yes, I love that colour. I do really love periwinkle. I can't wear it myself, unfortunately. It really washes me out. But it is quite stunning, I have to say. Okay. Next, we have different of purple, okay, or violet. So this is a cool tone, a warm tone, and something in the middle. Mm -hmm. Yes. This one looks really, really nice on you. I have to say. I mean, purple 
is a very royal color apparently, isn't it? Yes. Look like the star of the show if you bought it. We do have gold and silver tones, of course, also to match. Um, if you want to maybe embroider something onto there, or if you want the seam to look a little extra special, we can do that. We don't have bronze, I'm afraid. We only have gold and silver in right now. Yeah. And then, next one here, we have a variety of grey, but I feel like that's not festive enough. And then black and white. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'll just give you the pile to look over again. Okay, you just let me know. Yeah. Let me just peek into my book here. We're planning on wearing only a mask or also applying some character makeup, so to speak. So turning your whole face into a rabbit, so to speak. Okay, so do you have everything you need for that? Okay, well we also do sell um, eyeliners, that type of thing, although I would actually recommend that you go to an actual um, makeup place because the things that we sell here are quite pricey and seeing as this is most likely going to be a one-time occasion for you for this I would recommend that you maybe get something a little bit cheaper so that you won't feel as bad if you use a lot of it at once. Yes, exactly. Okay, I will write down the place that I had in mind for you. Okay. Mm. Yes, she also works with beautiful jewellery if you'd like to try that out. I do have some brooches here, but I her setup is a lot more uh, versatile. She has a lot more fun off of that. I mostly work with fabrics. So, let's see here. Here. You just give you this piece of paper here. We just need to comb it back a little bit. But let me just let me even see it and see what we can do here. Yeah. See? Yeah, take this little over here. I was thinking kind of pulled back like this. Yeah, just take the hand mirror if you'd like. Mm hmm Yes. Plus that you won't be getting in your way when you're wearing a mask. when you leave, um, open the curtains again. Okay, right. Wonderful. So, I will get started on your designs right here, okay? And should you have any questions at all, you just come back and talk to me, okay? Wonderful. Okay then. This was a very fun visit. I hope you enjoyed it. This is going to be a grand new year. It's going to be lovely. I just feel it. Yes. Anyhow, you have a wonderful day, alright? Yes. Yes, have a relaxing day. I can tell you work hard. Of course. I will see you again very soon. And say hello to my friend for me.